14th, 2016. I'm finally getting out in the woods today. We're at the Rocky Springs uh, Trail. And uh, we're in the Hidden Springs State Forest. We'll go about uh, three miles on the Rocky Springs Trail and then try and get up to the Big Tree Trail. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's a beautiful day. It's like 80 degrees out. It's perfect for being outside. Oh, there's people hunting all over for the mushrooms, morels, right? Yeah. Okay. I got off to a little later start than I thought. It's about 4 o'clock on Saturday. It's beautiful here in the, on the Rocky Spring Trail at Hidden Spring State Forest, just south of Shelbyville, Illinois. A few miles. The trail here is covered with gravel, so uh, I need a new pair of shoes, and my soles are a little worn out. So it's the rocks; you can feel them through the soles of my shoes. But uh, boy, oh boy, it is really, really nice out. I'm already sweating and I won't even hike it for about 10-15 minutes. Oh boy, it is good. Oh, well, here's Rocky Spring. I didn't realize we were already there. It, uh, it's in the background there and it's just dribbling out of the ground. did not realize. Okay, well, that's Rocky Spring for the name of the trail here. Rocky Spring Trail, all right. Uh, I'm told it's about a three, three mile trail. I'll have to look at the brochure again, but I believe it's a three mile trail. Okay, I'm gonna hike along here. You can see down there the, the spring and then it, it drains into this little creek. Okay, this is an actively managed forest, and uh, the uh, DNR is using various techniques to uh, maintain the health of this forest. One of them is they do burns, and I can smell the ash, and I don't know how, if you can see it, but the probably kind of hard to see but there's a lot of ash um, definitely uh, along the trail and the underbrush is uh, burned in and it looks like it's several yards back from the trail I don't know how how, how deep it goes but um, that's one of the things that they do to uh, to maintain this forest. Um, they also have uh, uh, an area where they are testing methods to uh, grow walnuts, and and they also have a uh, pine tree seed grove. So they use the pine trees. They they harvest the cones before they open, and then they take those seeds and the uh, uh, DNR uses those and uh, sprouts them and, and uh, gets new pine trees to put in various forests in Illinois. Okay, skull and jawbone. Probably of a deer. It's been there a while. Yep, the bone is well eaten. Okay. This is Richland Creek. And just some little riffles. Water's reasonably low. For uh, the middle of April, you would expect it to be higher. But uh, 
it was higher recently. If you look, you can see that's mud there, and up on top of the bank, it's dry. So, interesting. There are a lot of trees cut by the forest uh, department, uh, DNR. Uh, they're at, they are actively managing this forest. They are they they want to get rid of some of the uh, smaller trees, and it looks like they're trying to foster uh, larger tree growth in the main part of the forest. So, whoops. It's hard to see from here. I'm down in a place where trees haven't been cut. But as I've been walking on the trail, there are a lot of trees that have been cut. Well, I've come around the west loop of this. It's a three mile trail, the Rocky Spring Trail. The west loop, west side of the loop, goes uh, right along Richland Creek. And I've now come around, across the north end of the trail, and I'm now on the uh, east side of the loop, and I'm basically heading southbound. Uh, when I started today, I was carrying 22 pounds. That includes the the um, camera equipment, everything in my pack, and uh, uh, my hiking sticks. Uh, so that's not bad, 22 pounds. Of course, it's just an overnighter, so I only have two meals, um, and I didn't, I don't have a hatchet or a saw or anything like that. Just. Uh, my regular knife and my little Letterman, the little teeny tiny keychain Letterman. Uh, I forget the name of it. But... Oh boy. Some soggy spots on the trail to be expected in, in April. Again, you can see the burn if you look over my shoulder. Okay, woo, Nelly. It's nice to get out and limber up. I haven't hiked in, since last uh, August when I went up in, to Wabakimi. All right, now going back into the forest. And here we have pine. Okay. I'm out of the walnut area and now into the pine. You can probably see behind me. Uh, okay. Well, it is good to see that the state is actively uh, working on forest management, at least figuring out what they need to do. Okay. All right. Uh, boy, oh boy. All right. Okay, this pine forest smells nice. Because you can smell the pine over the ash. Yeah, oh boy, springtime pine. Gotta love it, baby, gotta love it. <sighs> oh yeah. <sighs> Not a cloud in the sky, it's great. Okay, it's five o'clock, I checked my phone and I started that, that walk at about five minutes to four. It's a three mile trail, so I averaged three miles an hour. That's not bad first day out and I'm stopping and I'm taking videos and pictures and looking out over the bluff into the into the nice little creek okay I think I'm gonna go and try the big tree trail I believe it's called and uh, that's a that's a much shorter trail um, and we'll look for the uh, big tree I thought I could do the big creek trail but I can't so uh, it's probably you know 20 to 6 uh, there's a lot to do at this park, hunting. Uh, there were people that were looking for morel mushrooms and uh, some of them had some very large ones, five, five, six inches long, plus the stem. Um, and then I saw people horseback riding. There's, there are equestrian trails here. Um, there are fire lanes, there's fishing. There are several ponds. 
uh, some with uh, access for vehicles and some that you have to walk to. Um, so there's a lot going on at the uh, Hidden Creek State Forest. <laughs>